What is your favorite song from your latest album, Inova, and why? What's kind of the story behind that? Okay, that's hard to choose, especially since we just released it. They're all like your babies. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say it first. Um, if I had to pick one, I really like the song Safety, which um, we actually had Stephen Christian from Amberlynn say oh, the cool. song. He's just an awesome guy, he's a friend of ours, and um, was so nice to be willing to come in on our project. And I really like that one, I think it's really fun since he's on number one. And then um, it's a cool song, it's about kind of like sticking by your friends because I think that we live like in a disposable society where you know, we throw everything away, even people. Like if, if they start to have hard times or we feel like someone might not be, you know, might not have it all together, we're like, oh, let's like, don't touch them with a the 10-foot pole, you know? We don't want to add any drama to our own lives. But the truth is that those are the exact people that Jesus would love. You know, he sought out those people who were hurting and who needed someone to stand by them even when it wasn't easy to love them. And so that song just really talks about, I'm going to stand by you, you know, and I'll have your back, you know, no matter what happens because you've had my back too and I'm going to be that kind of friend to you. Which song from that album do you think your fans have connected with the most and why do you think that is? Mm -hmm. What are some of the stories you've heard based off that song? Well, that's hard to say. We've had some good feedback on a lot of them. I know Safety's been pretty popular because I think people always latch on when they can recognize <laughs> other artists on the album too. Um, but I think one that to me is really, I think, reaches out to the fans on is Lightning, which is kind of like an empowerment song. Mm -hmm. And it's all about just tapping in to the understanding, you know, that the all-powerful God of the universe made you and He loves you unconditionally. And that makes you like infinitely powerful. And there's this power, you know, it says that we, you know, in Him we live and move and have our being. And so He's all around us, just ready to, to empower us no matter what we're doing. If we would just kind of say, okay, I believe it, you know? Because when you believe something, that's when you really live <laughs> according to that, and that's when it impacts your life. So for Lightning, it's all about, you know, I know you've been pushed down and been marginalized, but, you know, you're really, you're Lightning. You know, you have this power, this electricity that God, only God can give. And that's something that you can tap into and bring light and power to the whole world. So what are some of the ways you've seen God use your music to impact others recently and you'd like to share stories? Yeah, um, well we, we're the ones who communicate with our fans on our Facebook ourselves, mm -hmm. like we message cool. back and forth with them, yeah. And it's pretty cool because people are always like sharing their stories with us, which is such an awesome, amazing privilege that people will be willing to, you know, share their heart with us and, and give a little bit of their lives, which is really awesome because it helps to build our faith, you know. And they just talk about how the music, you know, will come in in a time when they are feeling helpless or hopeless or just like they just can't go on anymore. And so, I mean, we've had lots of really cool stories of trying people who've been like, you know, in really, really dangerous, abusive situations, finding strength to move forward and to get help, you know, when they were feeling trapped and hopeless before. And, and people who, you know, just had such low self-esteem that they just didn't feel like they felt worthless, you know. Mm -hmm. and, but like no one could understand and the music comes behind and helps to lift them up and help them realize they're not alone in their struggles and that they can come out on the other side and they have something to offer to others. Okay, very cool. Yeah, it's neat to be able to do that personally event instead of having just the team. Do oh yeah, yeah, for sure. We don't have a team. <laughs> we have the team. <laughs> There's always benefits to that too though. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, I understand when acts get really, really big, it's, mm -hmm. it can be almost impossible when you get mm -hmm. thousands of messages a day. There's mm -hmm. just no human living way you can do it. But thankfully, God has always just helped us to be able to continue mm -hmm. to answer. And it's really fun to be able to do it. Yeah.